Orthodox Christian Fellowship in the College of Ministry. There was a retreat in, in Dallas. I thank Father Vasily Vegas and Father Dan from Austin and San Antonio for being with us. Good evening. Good evening. As we were preparing for services this evening, I'm getting our microphones situated, and Father Dan says, I do not need a microphone. <laughs> and I underestimated his voice, and I want to go to San Antonio now <laughs> to have this liturgy. <laughs> it is it's such a, a great blessing to have you two with us uh, tonight. We don't get very many uh, visitors for uh, serving the services together, so it's quite a blessing. And then there are so many of our young people with the OCF visiting with us during our, our Greek festival. Have you all eaten yet? Yeah. It's expensive, It's a fundraiser. It's a festival. It's for a good cause. For a good cause. And so we welcome you all. Um, do we have any non-Orthodox visitors with us this evening? Okay? So you experience a little bit of what we, we do, how our services are conducted in the church. Throughout the United States, around the world, the Russian Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, Romanian Orthodox, they're all going to be very similar, with the exception of the way we chant, the way we invest ourselves. But we all follow the same calendar, the same readings, the same hymns. With minor exception, uh, we may pay more attention to a, a Greek city, while most teenagers may pay more attention to a Russian or, or an American city. We have those sort of differences. But what we'll see is the best service is the start of the new liturgical day. So this service helps prepare us for our Sunday worship tomorrow morning. We hear in our services hymns about the saints of the day, but also we hear hymns about the resurrection. Because every Sunday liturgy is a resurrectional liturgy. We anticipate the resurrection of Christ. What I always find fascinating when we occasionally you're asked about having a church on Sunday instead of Sabbath, and instead of Saturday to Saturday. And they would say, why did the Christians move the Holy Day from Saturday to Sunday? And I said, well, it's a different in understanding. Saturday is still the Sabbath day, but Sunday is the Lord's day. In Greek, we literally call it Kiriaki Imeris, the Lord's day. And then, funny for me, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are simply and literally the second, third, fourth, and fifth day of the week. Friday, Basili, preparation. We prepare for the Sabbath day, Saturday. And then Saturday evening, we start to embrace Kiriakiki Manus, the Lord's Day, through our resurrection of hands. We'll see in the church we have different colored vessels. And they are to celebrate different features of the church where it's a feast day for, for the Lord in the resurrection of your white and gold. But if we celebrate a martyr like October, we have the feast day of St. Demetrius, we would wear red or the blood of the martyrs. For the feast of the three of Hopos, we would wear blue for, for the Virgin Mary. For feasts like Transfiguration or Pentecost, we might wear green. Where there's the Holy Spirit. And so we change the colors for the different seasons uh, throughout the liturgical year. But Sunday, the Lord's Day, we always celebrate the resurrection. And in a way, every Sunday is a type of Easter. It's a little Easter for us because it's a day of the resurrection. And so we, we sing praises about the resurrection. And we'll have the gospel and epistle tomorrow, and that will be the same as it is in St. John's and Eunice, and the same as it is in Holy Trinity and Dallas. So wherever the Orthodox Church goes, or wherever the Orthodox Christians go, and there's the Orthodox Church there, that's their church. And some people are like, 
but they've never been to your church before. Like if you're coming to Fort Worth, this is your Green Orthodox Church, whether you've been here before or not. To go where you must, St. John's is your Green Orthodox Church. You belong there. And it's, it's a beautiful understanding, especially for our college kids. When you leave home to go to college somewhere else, that local church is your local Orthodox Church. You don't have to guess, do I belong here? What do they teach here? How are things going to be here? Because it ought to be much like it is at home. And the church is supposed to be that extension of our home. Or the home is the extension of our church. So I want to welcome you all for joining us tonight. Welcome to our, our 56th annual Greek festival. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. There's food out there. <laughs> we can eat. And, um, and God bless you all for joining us tonight. We will have, we started a little bit early. Which is very unusual for an Orthodox community. <laughs> but I, I'm used to five o'clock. The kids are going to be dancing here in a moment, so please go visit our, our, our dancers. Uh, the band